but I'm just begging you to come and please have your child, please. Even when you want us to do the DNA, I told you I'm ready. I'm gonna do it. I'm just begging you. I know it's not easy for you to. And any woman out there who is judging me, please don't because. Hello, Betty's. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Hmm. Yawa don boss. Kubana chief priest says, you know, a lady cried out and be asking people to help her to talk to Kubana chief priest to take care of his son. Now, Kubana chief priest replied. He said, firstly, that he doesn't know this lady from anywhere. Secondly, that is one of those that destroy beautiful marriage like his. Thirdly, they are going to carry out DNA test. Well, we are still waiting for them to carry out this DNA test. A, the lady cried out again and said, she doesn't want anything from Kobana Chief Priest. She doesn't want love or his money or anything. What she wants from him to just take care of his son, that's all. That she doesn't want when her son grows up, he'll start asking where is his dad. That please, if you stop denying that this child doesn't belong to him. That you should just take care of this child. And Kubana Chief Priest, in other hand, saying that he doesn't have money to waste on bastard. He only has money to take care of his family and you know, his family, his wife, and his children. So, as soon as this lady heard what Kubana Chief Priest says, she published the picture of the baby. <laughs> Let's compare. Let's just check. Here yeah, or here. Are we saying something or are we seeing something? People were like asking. Online neighbors. Online sisters and brothers were like asking, why are you denying it? We don't need any other DNA test. This one is just, you know, it's just this one is enough. They don't need it. Before I continue, I will allow you to listen to the lady and hear what she said. Please. If you can feel the pain of... But I say, uh-uh. Why? Maybe can we do that tomorrow? Can I have your number and then we can do it tomorrow? He said, no, I'll take care of you. Don't be scared. All stuff. And uh, I told him, I'm new here. I'm scared of uh, Lagos because my friend told me to be careful of the people that I talk to because some are crazy. So I say, okay. So we actually went back to the hotel uh, inside the restaurant and uh, we sat down. Even have food, he had his friends there and he had food and he asked me, can you eat? I say, no, I'm full. I didn't even eat much. I say, I'm full. I can't eat because I already had dinner. So he told me, just try to test the food and then I did. And then after that, I told him, okay, fine. Now um, it's getting too late because now we sat there for some hours. So... I even called my driver to come and pick me. So when the driver came and I was walking outside, just entering the car, uh, Pascal was standing outside. So he saw me and he sent someone to come and call me. So I asked the guy who is calling me, and then the guy said, there's someone who's standing there who's calling you. Just come and hear, then you can come back. And then I told him, I said, I'm from Kenya, but I'm new here. I've not stayed here for long. So I um, just came for my friend's wedding, but I'm leaving soon. So he said, okay, my name is Pascal. Do you know me? I said, no, I don't know you. So he said, okay, fine. Please stay with me. Uh, I just like you and uh, I want us to have more conversation. I, I want to say this because people have said a lot, a lot has been said, but nobody have heard my side of the story. I came to Lagos, that was last year, I came for my friend's wedding and then 
I asked my friend, where is the next restaurant? Because I want to go and eat Nigerian food. And she told me that there's a next restaurant there called Prime Chinese. So you can go there and have the food. I went there in the evening. So when I went there in the evening, I had food and I sat down, I had some two glasses of wine. So I was really tired. And so I wanted to go back to the apartment to rest. Blind. Now it was going two months and a half. Now I was trying to chat Pascal on WhatsApp. He was saying that he will talk to me later. He keep on telling me, ignoring me. And I even told him, okay, fine. If you want me to do abortion now, let me do, because I don't want problems with you. I will not want problem with you at all. So he said, okay, don't remove the baby. I keep the baby until I came back home. We were just chatting. When I landed to Kenya, I told him I'm in Kenya. Pascal blocked me. I tried to call him direct. I told him, Pascal, why are you blocking me? I'm pregnant for you. Why are you doing this to me? When he hear my voice, he will hang up the phone. I suffer. But what I can say today, I forgive you. I forgive you for the insult. I know it's not easy for you too, and me too. But I pray for you that no matter what, please, please bear with me. Just help your child. Because as you can see now, I don't have anything. I've used all my savings since I was pregnant up to now. I'm begging you. I know I've hurt you or any other way. I'm sorry. But please, please, for just for the sake of your baby, I've been crying too much. I'm begging you, but you never... I sent him the baby. That was a hour when I gave birth. He sent the emoji of puking. And he said, my, my, that thing can never be his son. He said, this bastard child can never be his. His money is for his family. Ame, 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 ashao. He said too much things to me. But I told him, Pascal, I forgive you for everything that you did to me and your child. Mama, I know I'm not perfect. <laughs> the only thing that I wanted you just to come and take care of your child, no matter what, because the baby will grow and they will ask me where is their father. <laughs> I know single women out there, it's not easy. Nobody wishes all this. This lady, like I said, published this picture to show people that she is not lying, that this particular child belongs to Kubana Chief Priest. Now, people, we are like asking, you know one thing about this man, this married man, you guys forgot that you guys have family, beautiful family. You guys have children. How can you just meet a girl the same day within 24 hours and the girl will just open you, will enter without protecting yourself? You don't know the girl. You didn't ask yourself, this kind of girl that opened her legs as soon as possible, within 24 hours, you didn't ask yourself, who, what kind of lady is this? That's how he opens leg to every one of them. I'm sorry to say this. Because if you can see a man within 24 hours and open your leg for him, that man, that means that's what you have been doing. You, you can't tell me anything. You came from Kenya to and you came for your friend's wedding. You just met a man within 24 hours. You open your leg for that man and the man enter. Who are we going to blame? The Kobana chief priest? Or the Kenya lady. Married men 
And like, Kubana Chief Priest, I don't really understand. You have a family. You don't think of this SDD. You don't think of this HIV. You just open it, even protect yourself. And after that, you still go and meet your wife. And the wife will open and you will enter. You keep on spreading it. Before a lady opens her leg for you to, you know, climb or enter. Ask yourself a question. How many men have done this kind of a thing to her? The, and the lady claiming that she doesn't know that he's a married man. How can you look at that man? Who fled man? matured man and he will tell you he's not married and you will accept it what are we even trying to say here and you that it is from kenya how can you just are you so desperate i just want to marry somebody that you just open your leg and even if you want to do the do why the man to look for protection why didn't you tell the man to protect himself why didn't you look for a way to protect yourself i keep on telling young people this days is not a day you can use pregnancy to hold a man. The day has gone when people you use pregnancy to hold a man. A man that doesn't want to do anything will not do anything. If you like, open your leg and use the pregnancy to he will not still do anything. Day has gone, not even now. Read the men, eh? eh? Married men, moon are respect to ourselves. You have a wife at home. You have children. Do you want to kill the woman? Person that didn't even know anywhere. Just stop and, you know, within 24 hours, I've claimed the woman with that protection. Tomorrow, you'll see maybe you travel back to your, to your base and still, your web will still open. You'll still claim. You are just spreading it. All these sicknesses that in this world that you are not hearing it. I watched one video. When they were asking a woman, why did your family left you? They said, just once just once he met the lady and decided to just go in Bam! that was all he contacted hiv his wife left him with his children and he has been on his start something years now this virus for 31 years how did you contract this virus the first experiment of going outside my matrimonial home that was how it happened pack everything including the children at home and they left me you ladies that's meeting a man for the first time and open your legs don't you think that that man that's what the man used to do he will meet a woman today he will tell the woman to open the woman will open please married men you guys should be respecting yourself and respecting your family Kubana chief priest, just say you have a beautiful marriage. You have this. They want to destroy it. Your beautiful marriage. You, you have a beautiful marriage. Why did you go into that? Why did you just go into without protecting yourself? And must you do? One woman is it not enough? Talking about Solomon and everything. Now, Kubana chief priest, they are dragging you now. Twenty twenty four. That's Kubana chief priest. Twenty twenty four. They are dragging you. And do your beautiful family. No, they will be there watching. And seen all these things because of something that doesn't even last for five ten minutes. Even if it lasts for one hour, does it really worth it? Please and please, you ladies, that man will meet you today. And the worst part of it is that this lady is not from Nigeria. You came for a wedding. You, you open a leg. You came for a wedding. You came for a purpose. You just go back. Don't you have a boyfriend before, or don't you have somebody that's you know? I don't really understand. Well, this we are end this. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Bye bye. See you all in my next video. Please, I would like to know your what do you think. I just bring it up for your discourse. What do you guys think about this? Bye. See you all in my next video. Bye bye.